are the allegations true that you are secretly a lizard? Uh, I, I, am, I am not a lizard. These are 20 things you didn't know about Mark Zuckerberg. And at number 20, I bet you didn't know Zuck is a murderer. Because any food that he eats, he has to kill for himself. Things taste better when you make them yourself. They taste doubly better when you hunted the animal yourself. So he even used a laser gun to kill a goat for Jack Dorsey. Let's just say Jack isn't coming over for dinner again. But did you know that Zuck makes less money than a homeless man? Even though he's literally the CEO of Facebook in 2013, he requested an annual salary of $1, meaning he's only made $10 in the last 10 years. But don't be fooled though, because he makes so much from his other investments that he doesn't even need the money and he can avoid paying his taxes. But even though he really makes billions, he still acts broke. Because if you didn't know, Zuck has three daughters and you'd be surprised that he doesn't even buy them clothes. He 3D prints them. I don't know if Zuck is trying to get them bullied or what, but other than that, he keeps his kids' lives pretty private. And ironically, he actually values his privacy a lot, which is why he roasted everyone who uses Facebook. Because even he was surprised at all the information Facebook users gave up. And when he leaked all of your data, this is what he had to say. I know that we don't exactly have the strongest reputation on privacy right now, to put it lightly. But he still values his own privacy, which is why he bought up all the houses around him so he didn't have neighbors. And if he didn't think that was enough, he literally called everyone who used Facebook dumb f**ks. Yeah, he said that back in college when Facebook first started. But did you know he dropped out? Because shortly after arriving at Harvard, he developed the website FaceMash, which lets students rank the most attractive people at Harvard. But once it went public, it crashed Harvard's network, and Mark got called out for using people's pictures without permission. I had just launched this prank website, FaceMash, and the ad board wanted to see me. Everyone thought I was gonna get kicked out. So after apologizing, he wasted no time and went on to create the Facebook. And once an angel investor offered him 12 million, he immediately dropped out of there. Now, Zuck may have been dropping out, but his employees are dropping dead, which is exactly what happened to Kim Chen, a Facebook engineer. Just like any other employee, they were making Chen work more than 12 hours a day. But when he was told he needed to work harder or he'd be fired, he didn't know what to do. His family needed the money desperately. He just couldn't lose this job. But it's well known that if you die while working for Facebook, your family gets a big payout. And he was under so much pressure, he wasn't thinking clearly. So he only saw one way out to help his family. Right before his performance review, he jumped out of a four-story window at Facebook headquarters, ending his life. And to make matters even worse, Facebook tried to sweep it under the rug, hoping everyone would just forget about it and keep working. Now that's terrible, but I bet you didn't know he met his wife Priscilla in the shittiest way possible. Because in 2003, Zuck joined the frat Alpha Epsilon Pi, and to celebrate, they threw a banger. Halfway through the party, Zuck was in line for the bathroom about to shit his pants. But as soon as he saw Priscilla, he had to chat her up. Priscilla was at that party. I turned to her and said, I'm getting kicked out in three days, so we need to go on a date quickly. <laughs> Zuck is literally an android, so props to him for even pulling off a conversation. But at number 13, you'll see he can do way more than just pull off a conversation in English. Because since his wife is Chinese, he decided to learn how to speak Mandarin. Hello, but he doesn't only know English and Chinese. He literally knows six different languages. Of course, this android would know languages like ancient Greek, Hebrew, and Latin. I wouldn't even doubt if he could somehow communicate with his dog, which you might not know is actually famous. Because Zuck's dog named Beast has over 2 million followers on Facebook, and there haven't even been any posts in the past seven years. But maybe it's because he wants to hide the fact that his dog is secretly evil. Because once he was tempted with a bone, he turned to the dark side. Nah, but for real. He loves his dog so much, he even got him cloned. For Beast's sixth birthday, Zuck got an artist from Oculus to make a 3D model of Beast in VR. And then he 3D printed a mini version of him. Is this even a dog? It looks more like a mop. But Zuck brings his dog everywhere. He might have even brought him to his private UFC event. Normally, the UFC wouldn't allow this, but Zuck doesn't take no for an answer. So he worked something out with Dana White and booked a private event. And when Dana announced that the next UFC fight wouldn't allow guests, rumors circulated that Zuck bought it out. But Dana got so much hate for the rumor, he came out denying everything. But before the event even started, a fighter for the UFC had a different story. I mean, I know Mark Zuckerberg like rented out the whole event, you know, so I know he'll be there. And what do you know? There he is. 
We still don't really know why he rented it out, but it was speculated that Mark was either going to buy the UFC or add it to the metaverse. Now that event must have been expensive, but not nearly as much as his wedding ring though, which I bet you didn't know he designed himself because apparently in China, they go crazy for rubies. So it only made sense to make a custom ring for his Chinese wife. But even though Zuck is a billionaire, he only spent 25K in his ring, maybe because he's afraid of being with her and getting robbed. I mean, why else would he spend millions on security? I guess he does get death threats like every day, so his security has to be OD. Like whenever Mark speaks publicly, his security hides undercover in the crowd, or when he wants to hit a bar, security's gotta sweep it first. Basically anywhere he goes, security's by his side, which is why it cost him 10 million dollars per year. But there's one beef that scares him the most. Cause once he started banning Facebook accounts promoting terrorism, ISIS themselves threatened to come after him. So he decked out his office in bulletproof glass in case someone comes in blasting. He even has a secret trap door in the floor of his office to slide him to safety. And you'd think Zuck wouldn't want to be easily recognizable. But next up, I bet you didn't know he wears the same pair of clothes every day. Mark, why do you wear the same shirt every day? <laughs> Now you'll be happy to know that there are multiple of the same shirt. But these aren't just your $15 gray shirts from Target. These are custom ordered luxury shirts made in Italy. Each shirt is handmade with expensive materials like cashmere and silk. And they cost $400 each. But I think I might know why he only wears gray. Cause you definitely didn't know that Zuck is blind. He actually has red green color blindness, meaning the most prominent color he can see is blue. And that's exactly why he chose the color blue for Facebook and Meta. Dude's probably ran so many red lights. But speaking of cars, have you seen this man's collection? Cause not only does he own a Pagani Huayra worth 1.4 mil, he also owns a nice Infinity. But he basically never drives it. Cause as a billionaire, why would he ever drive a $40,000 Infinity? Nah, his favorite car is a Honda Fit? Yeah, this $15,000 piece of sh is his daily driver. But his second favorite car is an Acura. Bro has billions and owns one supercar, but maybe it's because he spent all of his money on a Hawaiian island. And add the local Hawaiians to the list of people who want to fight Zuck, because they're pissed for years. Zuck sued hundreds of Hawaiians out of their homes and forced them to sell their land to him. And to make things even worse, he's literally destroying the environment to keep the locals out. He built a wall around this public beach near his property, just so he could have the whole place to himself. I'm here outside of Mark Zuckerberg's property in Hawaii. As you can see, there's a six foot wall. It's taller than me. This is a very special place to the indigenous native Hawaiians. So the larger issue really is who needs 700 acres of paradise? It's a little excessive. But despite their efforts, the locals can't do anything about it. Cause Zuck's paid over a hundred million for the rights. And with that much money, you could get away with murder, which he basically did. Cause someone died on his property and he swept it under the rug. This is Rodney Medeiros, a 70 year old working as a security guard on Zuck's property. Since his post was so far from any shelter, usually staff would drive him back and forth. But during one of his shifts, Mark's staff didn't check the weather that day and heavy rain made it impossible to drive. In a matter of hours, the river next to him started flooding and with nowhere left to go, this 70 year old man was forced to scale a mountain to avoid drowning. But during his hike, Rodney suffered a heart attack, costing him his life. Don't worry though, Zuck offered the family 7k for the trouble, basically spitting in their face. Like it's $7,500 for our father's life, like there's nothing that's going to make it okay, it's nothing's going to bring him back. But at number 4, what better way for Zuck to say I'm sorry than to learn surfing on the beach he kicked everyone out of. It's honestly ironic how the US took over Hawaii, then Zuck kicks out a bunch of locals while surfing with the American flag. But it's not just surfing he likes, he's also tried wakeboarding, and the entire wakeboarding community roasted him. But if he didn't know he liked surfing, I bet you didn't know he was a Swifty. Cause Zuck has been a big fan of Taylor Swift for a long time. And when he goes to her concerts, he even wears a bunch of friendship bracelets and face gems like all the other fangirls. Not gonna lie, that's a little weird Zuck. But Zuck has always been sus. Just wait until you hear about what he was doing at 12 years old. Cause even at 12, he was creating software programs, but it turned dark quickly. At first, he made a simple messaging system for his family called Zucknet. But his next program would automatically create music playlists by stealing your data. Dude's really been harvesting data since he was born. But at number one, there's no way that you knew Zuck truly believes he could have prevented a war. Back when, when I was in college, our country had just gone to war in Iraq. And I remember feeling that if more people had a voice to share their experiences, then maybe 
it could have gone differently. I've focused on building services that do two things, give people a voice and bring people together. But that's far from the truth, because we've all seen how people actually use Facebook to spread lies for clicks. I mean, Facebook today couldn't even prevent violence, because in Ethiopia, it's actually doing the opposite, because Facebook was pushing so much hateful content in Ethiopia that it was causing mass violence in the country. So if that's happening now, why would it be any better at the start? Now, I'm looking at you now, but I'm going to post on Facebook, but I'm going to post on Facebook. 